Welcome to the Urban Survivor channel, and in this video we're going to be checking out the BioLite Base Charge Home Emergency Kit, which is designed to be an all-in-one blackout kit and contains essential power and lighting gadgets, which would help keep some of your home appliances running, your small USB devices and smartphones topped up, and provide you with lighting. But before we dive in, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and as always there's links down below which you can use to learn more about this kit and help support the channel. The first item in the kit we're going to be discussing is the Base Charge 1500 and this is a 1521 watt hour capacity power station and it's got a bunch of different USB outputs which are going to be good for charging your smaller devices like your phone and also some AC outlets which you can use to power most household items and I did do a full review on this power station a few months ago and if you want to learn more about the specs on this device and what it's capable of that video will be linked to down below. This is a great item to keep in an emergency because you can run a ton of different things that might be useful in a power down emergency situation like your refrigerator different medical devices like CPAP machines, smaller items like electric blankets to keep warm, and even electric kettles if you need to boil water. The base charge is definitely a really nice size unit and it can do a lot and having the ability to keep at least some basic electronics going in an emergency is a fantastic ability to have. And if you do want to take your grid down capabilities a bit further, there is a solar panel which can be purchased separately from BioLite and this will give you the ability to, to charge your devices indefinitely in an emergency situation and I'll also be testing this panel out and putting a link down to that video below as well. Those of you looking for a more portable source of power are going to like the Charge 80 PD power bank which is a high capacity 20,000 milliamp hour power bank which is going to be useful for charging your small USB powered devices like your smartphones, flashlights and tablets and this actually has a very quick 18 watt USB-C port and it can charge most compatible laptops at least once and will charge most smartphones about five times and tablets one to two times. There are also two USB-A outputs and you can also charge multiple devices simultaneously and this might be a good option if somebody needs to charge their phone in a different room away from the base station or maybe your friends or neighbors need to charge their phones and you want to lend them something to keep at their house the first thing you'd probably notice in an emergency situation where you lose power is the lights going out and this kit also includes some excellent hands-free lighting options including the alpen glow 500 lantern two of these smaller alpen glow 250s and the headlamp 425 the alpen glow 500 is the larger lantern and has a 6400 milliamp hour battery capacity and the 250 is considerably smaller coming with a 3200 milliamp hour battery capacity they both have a battery status indicator, which lets you know the remaining battery life, micro USB ports for charging, and a type A output you can use to charge other devices, and they both have hooks you can use when you want to hang them. There are a lot of different modes on these lanterns, and for the most part they are pretty much the same between the two lanterns, and the primary white light has variable output control, meaning you can ramp between an ultra low moon mode, and the highest modes, which are 500 lumens on the 500, and 250 lumens on the 250. Both of them will give you approximately 5 hours of runtime on high and about 200 hours of runtime on their lowest modes. There's a warm mode, and this is going to be less harsh on your eyes and better to read with, a single color mode which is fully adjustable and it allows you to ramp through different colors, and finally a multicolor adjustable mode which shows multiple colors simultaneously and is adjustable on the Alpenglow 500 or you can select up to two colors on the 250. Another difference is that you can shake the 500 and this will turn off one side of the light which is an interesting feature that will also help conserve battery life if you only need lighting in a particular direction and shaking will also cycle through some of the different modes on the other settings as well. The emergency kit also comes with the headlamp 425 and this is a very interesting headlamp that would be useful in many different circumstances. It's got a very comfortable stretchy headband and there's a few different emitters on the front and a mode selector button and on the back this is where you've got a 1000 milliamp hour built in battery with USB-C charging and another set of red emitters which would be useful in situations where you might want to make yourself more visible. The front end has a few different white lights including a spot style beam which is going to give you better visibility at long distance and also a flood style mode which is going to be the best for walking and for close up use. And both of these modes can be used independently or combined if you want to use them both. The brightness can also be variably adjusted by holding down the mode button, which is another really cool feature. And you can select between a higher 425 lumen mode, which will run for about four hours, and a low mode, which will run for about 60 hours. There's also a red mode, which is gonna be useful for keeping a low profile and preserving your night vision, and also a strobe mode for the times when you really wanna be seen. 
The back has a solid red mode and a flashing red mode, and this is going to be good for running at night. If you're looking for a comprehensive power station and lighting kit for emergency situations, this kit is definitely a good way to go. And if you want to learn more about it, there's a link to this kit down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.